All right, happy Thursday, Buckeye Extra blog page viewers. Good to have you again for another edition of the Thursday Three. I'm Tim Hall, and I tell you what, at the time of me filming this, it is only about an hour removed from Cardale Jones, the car dozer, 12 gauge. He was actually wearing a 12 gauge t shirt at his press conference today up in Cleveland. Those have got to be flying off the shelves already, whoever's making those. It is just, I, I can't remember a story this crazy in my life uh, since I've been covering sports. That we we're all ready for Cardale to go pro today, calls the press conference, tweets this morning about a life-changing announcement coming, and that's to say he's coming back, or not coming back, but staying, remaining at Ohio State. So we still got the quarterback questions to answer, but this makes me feel like doing something dedicated to just Cardale Jones for this season. And I want to do my top three Cardale Jones plays, specific plays of this football season. And for a guy who really started only three games, you think there's not a lot to choose from, but oh, there are a lot in those three games. And my number three actually is not in one of the games that he started in. I go back to that Illinois game, sort of three quarters of the way through the football season where he gets the entire second half because Ohio State's mopping the floor with Illinois at night. And if you recall, third quarter, 31-0 game, the shoe's kind of dead. You know they're going to walk away with an easy victory. A play that was actually not really a play. It was dead. He threw the ball, and it was actually ruled incomplete, but they kind of let the play continue, and then they went back and looked at it and got it right. And his high school teammate, Viangelo Bentley, that stud return man for Illinois, made the worst decision in his life. He picked it up and tried to return it. And Cardale Jones, like a freight train off the rails, just destroyed him. You remember, he hit him hard. The quarterback running in there to make the tackle, really like nothing you've ever seen, a quarterback wanting to get down and dirty like that. It electrified the building. It got people back into it. And it, to me, just kind of personified who this guy was, how you don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. And it kind of told us the type of runner that he was going to be in the bigger games to come. Number two, we start getting into those, yeah, final three games that were ultimately important. But number two is in the national title game against Oregon. Maybe you'll remember this one. Of course you remember it, but let me just tee it up for you. Third down and three, late third quarter in that ball game, it's 21-20. to 20. We're all on pins and needles wondering if you're going to be able to overcome all the turnovers. They were. He ran the ball. And he met not one, but two Oregon defensive tackles. I believe it was Alex Balducci and Sam Kemp. About 600 pounds of men. He cracked them with two yards to go to get to those sticks and pushed them forward to pick up that first down. Crucial third down conversion. And later in that drive, Zeke plows in for the 28-20 lead. That really lets you take a, a deep breath. And it gave you that confidence that they could still keep scoring, that they could overcome that mental hurdle of them turning the ball over and get it back in gear and score some more points to win that game. That was number two. Number one, biggest and best Cardale Jones play this season for me goes to the Alabama game. You might say, oh, Tim, you got to pick an Oregon uh, play because that was the national championship. Well, to knock off Bama and Nick Saban was big for me, and they don't get to the Oregon game without doing that. And it was the deep post I'll set it up for you again. They're down 21-6. to six. Remember, you're starting to wonder, is this guy in over his head? I was starting to think that. Third down and 10. Zeke runs it twice. Everybody's yelling at Tom Herman to start running the damn ball. They do run it. it get, you get nothing, so it's third and 10. You got to pass, and you get great prote protection. Cardale calmly sits in the pocket, scans the field, and fires a bullet deep post to Jalen Marshall. First of a couple 26-yard gains on that drive, which was crucial down, like I said, 21-6, to six, to make that throw, to give you the confidence that he could sit back there and do it. That, to me, the number one Cardale Jones play of this season, ripping the 26-yarder to Jalen Marshall when they were down big in the second quarter of that Sugar Bowl. It just let you know they could get it in gear, that he could do this, and he could throw the ball, make it rain all over the field. And they eventually score on that drive. And it was right after, it was the first throw after he threw that huge pick as well. Another thing that uh, makes that one special for me. Cardale Jones, he's Ohio State's quarterback still. Who would have thought that? You want to uh, tweet at me, at Tim Hall 971 if you got some other nominations for Cardale's plays? Please do that. We'll see you next week for another edition of the Thursday Three. Bye-bye.